The, you know, to put it bluntly, I just say I, I uh, paint large artwork on the sides of buildings. Uh, and everybody knows and has seen these things, so that pretty well takes care of it. I paint large artwork on the sides of buildings, and they usually then just start asking questions right, left, and sideways. I created the paint by numbers. I thought I would do a sort of little instruction manual mural about how to do a mural. So there's the grid, there's the drawing, transposed onto the grid. There's a color palette numbered 1 through 20 of all the colors we used off to the side. It, there's numbers in the artwork. There's numbers on the players. There's numbers painted on the field. This is not about football. This is about something more rich and dynamic. Here I got a call from the city, from somebody in planning, it says we have a citizens group and I know you worked your way through college as a house painter, and I know you're a very good artist. Would you be interested in helping the citizens group do a mural with some kids? I know you used to teach up in New York. It's on Rosemary Street on the back of what used to be the Frank Art Gallery. It's a big blue thing with a steeple and moon on it. I like the big pencil. I was gonna put an iguana. <laughs> But the, the church across the street didn't want to go on. But the pencil was, uh, I was just trying to come up with something and I had a drawing on the wall, blank. And I was doodling up different things I could put and uh, wasn't liking any of the ideas. And I just uh, got really uh, disgusted and threw the pencil down on the paper. <laughs> uh, there it was, it was just laying there. I said, this is cool. And I realized that I'm right-handed. But, and so uh, one thing with a pencil is the printing on it, like Ticonderoga, whatever it is. Yeah. When you hold it in your right hand to write, it's right side up. But for lefties, the writing is always upside down. And yet, since the pencil has been whittled down halfway, I mean, who's mightier the sword of the pencil anyway? The third one would be the turtles, and uh, the th my third favorite. Uh, I mean, I don't mean it's third in line. I mean, I have favorites, and uh, the turtles would be way up there, flapping their little flap flippers. Uh, people love animals. I wanted it to be something people would love. And kids love dinosaurs, and they're kind of dinosaur-like. And they're indigenous to North Carolina. They are endangered. So it hits on a lot of cylinders. Uh, I'm kind of tickled by that one because the football tailgaters have now made a big tradition out of tailgating in what is called the turtle lot. Uh, the, the parade of humanity in what's called the porthole alley. The porthole building no longer has a porthole in it but it, I think it's still called the Porthole Alley. And really it ought to be changed to the Portal Alley because it is the main portal between the university and town. And so, you know, there is a parade of humanity in there all day, every day, back and forth, you know, from undergrads to professors to maintenance workers to visitors to dogs and cats. Uh, so that's what we changed it. Well, you know, the one in the parking deck, the town manager comes up to me, and the parking deck was new in Chapel Hill. This can't park in the parking deck. We were just not that way back then. You know, we weren't so, uh, you know, just a little parking deck in Chapel Hill, so it was underutilized. He says, Can you make, do me an artwork that will make this seem less like a cave? I said, No, I'm going to make it seem like a really cool cave. We're going to cut cave paintings in the dang thing. We're going to fill it with cool cave paintings. I went to Lasco, I went uh, Inca, I went uh, South African, I went Saharan, I went India, I went Japanese. Everyone has this primitive depictions in all their cultures around the world. Now the comedy club really wants to get a fresh one up there, right over the top of the old one. That's not new. Uh, that's a thing that happens all the time. But uh, he wants a spiritual message and a, a light flowing out and uh, an English uh, translation of the uh, meaning of the phrase uh, Namaste. It's going to be a lighthouse. So that's cool. I 
I like the idea of renewal. It's an honor.